This tune is a bossa nova tune in the style of blue bossa, so let's go through the chord voicings and I'll give you a few technical tips so you can play it with ease. Your first chord is a C minor 7. Now you could play it with your fingers, you could strum it with your thumb, you can play it with a pick, you can hybrid pick, so you've got a lot of options as far as the picking hand is concerned. You're going to play that chord, then the next chord you'll encounter will be the F minor 7 up here. When you play that F minor 7, you'll be coming in a bit diagonally. makes it real easy. All the notes fall right under your fingers that way. When you move to the next chord, the D minor 7 flat 5, your fourth finger will be a guide. And then when you move to the G7 sharp 5, your fourth finger will also be a guide. Now in between each chord, relax your hands. Let the notes cut off, and then you're going to come back in on a C minor 9. Now from the G7 sharp 5 to the C minor 9, notice how your third and your fourth fingers are guide fingers. They just come down one fret. That takes care of the first portion of the progression. Then you move up three frets for your E flat minor 9. Your fourth finger will be a pivot and your third finger a guide when you go to the A flat 7, 6. Then you're going to move to your D flat major 9. And then you go back to chords that you've already played in the progression. The D minor 7 flat 5, G7 sharp 5, and that'll help it start all over again. Because you go to the C minor 9, so you have that progression. So let's just go through them one more time. C minor 7, F minor 7, D minor 7 flat 5, G7 sharp 5, C minor 9. Section B, E flat minor 9, A flat 7, 6, D flat major 9, D minor 7 flat 5, G7 sharp 5, your C minor 9, and then you hit the G7 sharp 5, which makes it want to start over again. Get a nice, smooth, sweet, balanced sound.